The year was 2010. A young girl named Alice, nicknamed Raygun for her boundless energy, stumbled upon a group of kids breakdancing in a Melbourne park. She was instantly mesmerized. The music pulsed through her, the moves were electric, and the energy was contagious. It was as if the rhythm of the city had found its way into her very soul, igniting a spark that would never fade. From that moment on, Raygun knew exactly what she wanted to do, dance. She felt an unexplainable connection to the art form, a calling that resonated deep within her. Raygun threw herself into the world of breakdancing with her characteristic zeal. She watched countless videos attended local dance battles, and sought out mentors who could help her refine her skills. She practiced tirelessly, spending hours mastering intricate footwork, dizzying spins, and gravity-defying freezes. Her dedication was unwavering, and her progress was swift. Her natural talent was undeniable. She had an innate ability to pick up complex moves and make them her own but it was her raw passion and unique style that truly set her apart. Raygun wasn't just mimicking the moves she saw, she was infusing them with her own personality and flair. By her early teens, Raygun was already making waves in the Australian breakdancing scene. Her performances were electric, and her presence on stage was magnetic. She competed in local battles, earning the respect of seasoned b-boys and b-girls twice her age. Her fearlessness and creativity made her a formidable opponent. Her name became synonymous with creativity, originality and a fearless approach to pushing boundaries. Raygun was not just a dancer, she was a trailblazer, constantly challenging the norms and redefining what was possible. Little did she know, her journey was about to take an unexpected turn, one that would catapult her onto the world stage. An opportunity was on the horizon, one that would test her skills, her resolve and her passion like never before. The world was about to meet Raygun and it would never be the same again. Breakdancing wasn't just a hobby for Raygun, it was an escape, a form of self-expression, a way of life. Growing up, she felt like an outsider, never quite fitting in. But on the dance floor, she found her tribe, a community that embraced individuality and celebrated creativity. As she honed her skills, Raygun developed a style all her own, it was a fusion of classic breakdancing techniques with elements of contemporary dance, hip-hop, and even a touch of martial arts. Her movements were fluid yet powerful, graceful yet edgy, a mesmerizing blend of control and abandon. Word of Raygun's talent spread beyond local circles. Soon, she was invited to perform at festivals, competitions, and events across Australia. With each performance, her confidence grew and her star continued to rise. She became known not only for her technical skills, but also for her infectious energy and captivating stage presence. Raygun was quickly becoming a force to be reckoned with in the world of breakdancing. The announcement that breakdancing would be included in the 2024 Paris Olympics sent shockwaves through the dance world. The news was met with a mix of excitement and disbelief as breakdancers from all corners of the globe began to dream of Olympic glory. For the first time, this street-born art form would be showcased on the world's biggest sporting stage. It was a monumental moment, not just for the dancers, but for the entire culture that had grown around breakdancing over the decades. And for Raygun, it was an opportunity to make history. She had been breaking since she was a child, 
and the chance to compete in the Olympics was a dream she had never imagined possible. The road to the Olympics was gruelling. Raygun trained relentlessly, pushing her body and mind to their limits. Every day was a test of endurance, strength and creativity. She spent countless hours perfecting her moves, ensuring that every spin, flip and freeze was executed with precision. She travelled the globe, competing in qualifying events, facing off against the best breakers in the world. Each competition was a new challenge, a new opportunity to prove herself and earn her spot in the Olympics. The pressure was immense, but Raygun thrived under it. She knew that every performance was a chance to showcase her skills and make a statement. The stakes were high, but so was her determination. She saw it as a chance to not only represent her country, but to share her unique style with a global audience. Her routines were a blend of traditional breakdancing moves and her own innovative flair, captivating audiences and judges alike. Finally, the day arrived. Raygun was selected to represent Australia in the first ever Olympic breakdancing competition. The announcement was a testament to her hard work and dedication, and it marked the beginning of a new chapter in her journey. It was a dream come true, the culmination of years of dedication, passion, and unwavering belief in herself. The recognition was not just a personal victory, but a milestone for the entire breakdancing community. But her journey was far from over. In fact, it was about to get a whole lot more complicated. The Olympics would bring new challenges, new competitors, and new pressures. But Raygun was ready. She had trained for this moment her entire life, and she was determined to make the most of it. The road to Paris 2024 was just the beginning of her story. The Olympic stage was set. The anticipation in the air was almost tangible, as if the very atmosphere was charged with excitement and expectation. The lights were blinding, the crowd electric, the energy palpable. It was a scene of pure exhilaration, with every spectator on the edge of their seat, waiting for the magic to unfold. When Reagan's name was announced, a hush fell over the arena. The silence was almost deafening, a stark contrast to the previous roar of the crowd. All eyes were on her as she stepped onto the floor, ready to unleash her unique brand of breakdancing. And unleash she did. With every step, she commanded the stage, her presence undeniable. Raygun's performance was a whirlwind of creativity and technical prowess. Her movements were a blur of energy, each one more impressive than the last. She blended traditional power moves with her signature fluidity and grace, creating a mesmerizing tapestry of motion that was both powerful and elegant. Incorporating elements of contemporary dance and acrobatics that left the audience breathless, she pushed the boundaries of what breakdancing could be. Some were mesmerized, their jaws on the floor at her innovative style. They saw a visionary, someone who was redefining the art form. Others, however, seemed less impressed. They were the purists, the ones who believed in the sanctity of traditional breakdancing. Whispers began to circulate, questioning whether Raygun's style truly belonged in the breakdancing competition. Was she a trailblazer or a heretic? Traditionalists argued that her incorporation of other dance forms strayed too far from the roots of breaking. They felt that her style diluted the essence of what breakdancing was meant to be. Some critics went so far as to call her performance too theatrical, lacking in authenticity, and even disrespectful to the history and culture of the dance form. They saw her as an outsider, someone who didn't respect the traditions. 
the controversy surrounding Raygun and her unique style had ignited. It was a debate that went beyond the dance floor, touching on themes of tradition versus innovation, purity versus evolution. Raygun 